be sure to avoid any foods that you already know are problematic, right? And they have a reaction to. So if you have a food intolerance or food sensitivity and you like to cheat occasionally because you can get away with it and it's not a big deal, don't do that during an IBS flare up because that's the worst time, of course, to cheat. So be sure to avoid those foods. Now, what should you take for an IBS flare up? Now, we have found that one of our most popular products for IBS flare ups is it's called GI support, something we actually have made. And patients often find this helpful because it's soothing to the digestive tract and helps the healing process along. It's not a cure-all. I'm not going to stand here and pretend that it's going to solve all your problems because what you need to do is see an IBS specialist for that. And they'll help you track down the actual cause of this, of why are you getting this flare-up, of what's causing these symptoms 